Hey dude, I'm out of laundry detergent. Okay? I'm out too, but I just got an awesome new robot for Valentine's Day. State of the art. Cool, I like wanna see it. Okay, but don't go bragging about this one in a lifetime chance. This is it? Yeah, isn't it awesome? It's like half an inch tall. Porn speaks for itself. Well, whatever, let's make it work. Okay, and check out this awesome remote. But it looks like just a TV remote. Just do it already. Jeez. Well, it's not really working. Come on, you stupid piece of crap. Oh my gosh, are you okay? God, I don't know, it scratched my throat and like now my stomach really hurts. Not you, is the robot okay? Dude, you chucked it down my throat. Well, it wasn't working. This is stupid. <coughs> I think the robot moved into my lower intestine. Dude, I swear, I think the robot moved inside of me. Well, according to my science textbook, if something moves inside of you, it probably moves inside of you. Oh, really? I had no idea! How about we try to move it back up to your mouth? Yeah, try that. Okay... Oh, crap! <laughs> well, I guess I have to clean my shoes tonight, but we can make you puke to get the robot out! Say what now? 30 minutes later. <laughs> I guess Joe was kinda bummed about losing his robot. Oh, yeah, and that Ryan died. But then he had an idea. Joe decided to cut Ryan open to get the robot back. Joe played with the robot for three days and never cleaned his shoes. Joe also decided he should take Ryan to a doctor. Joe got Ryan's medical record. It turns out that Ryan only fainted, but cutting him open had killed him. Heh, <laughs> weird, huh? But Joe didn't care.